Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're diving into the world of mortgages and amortization tables and the pros and cons of different lengths of mortgages or amortizations. Uh, so if you're just curious about mortgages or buying your first house or maybe your mortgage is coming up for renewal, um, you're in the right place. So let's get started. The standard amortization period for most mortgages is 25 years. So if you look at a mortgage calculator or um, if you've run a couple of uh, different scenarios for yourself online, most calculators do a standard 25 year amortization. But did you know that um, there are 30, 35 year amortization and even 40 year amortizations available in Canada? Now, let's talk about shorter amortizations first. Opting for a shorter amortization period can make you mortgage-free faster because a shorter amortization period allows you or forces you to pay more down on the principal. However, the con of something like that is, is that the payments are gonna be higher. So let's take a look at this table. You can see I've compared 25 and 30 year amortizations and you can see what the uh, payment schedule is, uh, roughly, and you can also see how much principal you're paying off. Now, while a shorter amortization can be appealing, there are a few important considerations that you need to make. So first off, if you are a first-time home buyer or you know, are getting a large mortgage loan, a longer amortization might be the way to go because it'll help you budget. Also, if your mortgage is coming up for renewal and your payment is really spiked and you also have some debt that you'd like to consolidate, a longer amortization might help you for budgeting and cash flow purposes. Um, the other reason why um, maybe a pro of having a longer amortization is that if your income is variable and um, and you know you get paid like a dividend income or a commission sales, then you may want to think about a longer amortization, but also a mortgage that has good prepayment options where you can pay extra to pay down on the principal. So in summary, choosing the right amortization is really important. There are a few considerations. What are your financial goals? What your income is like? And also what cash flow you have coming in in your budget. So we love working with people that's it for today um if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up uh we certainly love uh hearing from you so you can just respond to any comments you may have thank you love hearing from you talk to you soon